It is a day of U-turns. Sheikh Jassim wants to stay even after his own set deadline. Sir Jim Ratcliffe uh, is also becoming increasingly frustrated. Scott McTominay is undecided on his future, whereas Harry Maguire is saying, oh no, I'm not moving a muscle. I want to stay and continue fighting for my place in Manchester United. Subscribe to the channel. My name is Webb. This is the hot spot. This is where we get to talk about the hottest conversations in the world of sport. Now today, again, we continue to follow what has been for months the biggest story concerning anything sport in the world. The battle for ownership of the biggest football club in the world, Manchester United. And that man has been at the heart of it. It is Sheikh Jassim, who on his final bid uh, to purchase Manchester United. A full purchase, a full takeover is what he wanted. And he tabled his fifth and final bid on Wednesday. He did set an ultimatum and he said, if they don't get back to Friday, I'm done. If they don't get back to me by Friday, I'm done with the Glazers. But today there is a new development uh, about uh, this bid. That is a bid of 6.5 billion US dollars plus 1 billion pound uh, to go on for further investment and that was the breakdown from his fifth bid uh, to clear all debt United has to redevelop Old Trafford, Carrington and the neighborhood to recruit new players and uh, he wants to take over ownership of the club 100% exactly what the Man United supporters do want to hear but the Glazers have been silent but guess what just when you thought you had pressure uh, that uh, the, these Glazers might go on and again uh, play ping pong and refuse to respond to uh, uh, Sheikh, Sheikh Jassim's bid and uh, maybe frustrate him out because he said this was his last attempt to buy the club well, the man above or the gods of football have said, okay, let's come shake Jasim down because the man is truly and genuinely interested in owning Manchester United. He has said his team has communicated and they have said, even if they don't get a response, whereas they were annoyed and frustrated on Wednesday when they were tabling their uh, fifth bid uh, and saying it was the final bid and... The deadline is today. If they don't respond, they are done. Well, they look back at what they said and they have made up their mind saying, even if they don't get a response, like many of us expect from the Glazers, I mean, I don't know what you personally expect, but I don't uh, have a lot of expectation uh, from the Glazers to come up with a response today before close of business today to that bid. They have been so disrespectful all throughout this bidding process. Why would they change uh, their minds now? Well, the guy says, okay, my offer will stay on for when, until whenever they are ready uh, to go on and take it or leave it. They, it. It will stay on. So I think he deserves a hand clap. That's uh, Sheikh Jassim for at least uh, hearing the plea of the Manchester United supporters who have been crying uh, for Qatar to come in. Uh, he have been cry they have been crying for Sheikh Jassim to take over the club. But they thought, uh, I think the pressure was increasing even on the fans. And I think this communication does calm down the pressure uh, to the fans who thought, well, the billionaire guy uh, who is going to come in here and change the club, make it competitive again, is giving Giving up and this Glazer just uh, you know don't care not caring. Well, it's good he has come down and he has said that okay guys, don't you worry, I will stay on and my bid is still there for the taking of the Glazers. Now remember, the man who calls the final shots at Manchester United in terms of ownership is none other than Joel Glazer. This man. Now this is the man who has been silent. Whenever he's been asked about uh, the sale and all this, he has been silent about things. He does not come out and clearly communicate. Again, now they are silent. But it is said that they got some bit of pressure after the fifth bid on Wednesday by Sheikh Jassim. Apparently, he sent a silent message that uh, Joel Glazer sent a silent message, behind the scenes message, after that fifth bid, stressing to the club that they have got financial limits. Now, that's a bad message. I think, for whichever way you look at it, it's a bad message if you're a Manchester United supporter. This is the silent message he sent to the club after that fifth bid. Uh, say, and he did admit that they, they do have financial limits, and this is reported by the Express. They're saying that uh, they, they find themselves in a state of flux. They find themselves is in a state of flux here at Manchester United. They also admit that they've got issues. And now the battle continues between Sir Jim Ratcliffe and uh, Sheikh Jassim uh, for ownership of the club. Now, re do remember that Manchester United, uh, ever since Eric Ten Hag took over, they have not had so much money to spend. I think they have spent just about 200 million 
is what they have had. They brought in Anthony Dos Santos and Casemiro. In January, United had a very, very frugal window. Uh, they only loaned, got lo players on loan. That is in uh, Wout Wakehurst. They got Marcel Sabitza and Jack Butland. Those are the only players uh, that uh, they do. Uh, they, they did get in January. It was that silent. But now, uh, if this man is beating, that uh, they do have financial limitations. You wonder why on earth then is not isn't it taking uh, the bloody deal from uh, from Sheikh Yassim that is going to change the club. So for me, this shows you that. Whereas this man owns the club, he doesn't really care about the fans and the club because football is about the fans. It is about making the fans happy. But he doesn't seem to care. He's clearly, Glazers, the, the Glazers are clearly not United supporters. They're clearly just some businessmen, billionaire, filthy rich Americans coming out there to own the biggest club in the world for their own reasons, to make money and also to feel great and proud owning the biggest club in the world, they are not fans of Manchester United because you can't admit you are the owner, you admit that you've got financial uh, limitations, you've got someone who can clearly make your club that you own, that you think you love, competitive again in this damned age when Man City is, is, buying, is, is buying trebles, I mean, Titles are bought now. You need to have a lot of money to compete. You saw what happened with Newcastle. They bring in oil rich billionaires, and in the first season, they are competing. I'll tell you, Newcastle next season, with this ownership conundrum at Manchester United, Newcastle can, is going to add on to the other tough competitive teams United is going to have to deal with. This We saw a sample of, of it in this first season with Eddie Howe. They... Even Ten Hag admitted that right now in the Premier League, there are about six or seven clubs to worry about. It's no longer about Man United and Arsenal. Things are tougher. Now, if you're Joel Glazer, you do love the club. If you're the Glazers and you genuinely do love Manchester United, you don't just stay, stay silent and just see the problems. You know the problems. You admit that the club is falling way, way, way behind. And you don't do anything about it. Yet, it's your call to short. So, the frustrations, like I said, not only with uh, uh, with Sheikh Jassim, even this man, the richest man in the UK, the CEO of Ineos, that is uh, Sir Jim Ratcliffe, is also in becoming frustrated. Now, I feel like these guys, are both of them are beginning to feel like or to realize that they are being played by the Glazers. The Glazers probably do not genuinely want to sell. They probably do not genuinely want to sell. They are just playing these rich men. And the men... These guys are also becoming frustrated. Remember, before reports were suggesting that Sir Jim Ratcliffe was close to, 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 to sealing you know, the deal, to, who was ahead in this battle uh, with Sheikh uh, Jassim. Uh, but because of, he even, you know, table is a bid uh, that will only allow him to take about 51% of the club, leave the Glazers, a part of the family, owning about 20% of the club, face them out slowly. He has brought an option that would be, I think, fair on them. But they are still non deciding. So he's also realizing that maybe these guys are playing us. So, what exactly is going on with these Glazers? Are they just trying to play everyone? Now, guess what? What is happening, whatever there is going on in their minds, is causing problems. And I think uh, they do underestimate the power of football fans. And I'll tell you, for a club like Manchester United, the biggest club in the world, the fan base they've got, one of the biggest, if not the biggest fan base in the world, to get pressure. This is what is happening. With the frustration going on, of course, the fans have used whatever they have. Besides, of course, the continuous, uh, you know, uh, banners we've been seeing all throughout the season saying, love Man United, hate the Glazers and all. The fans have now rallied behind the Qatar, be behind the Qatar bid, behind uh, Sheikh Jassim. They are trying to force her. And I think th there is a, a looming crisis at Manchester United, I'll tell you. If the Glazers do not put their house in order, make a decision, and the only decision I think that would make sense to many United fans supporter right now would be to take this man's bid. If they don't do it, I'll tell you, they will see the power of football fans. They will see it. And I'm not trying to intimidate no one. I think they will see the power of football supporters. I think they feel right now they're untouchable. Nothing can be done to them. They own the club legally and all, but they do underestimate the power of football supporters. Football is about supporters. It's about the fans. Now, if you're frustrating the fans, I think you're losing it. You're losing it. Look at the beauty of a bid. You're admitting that you have uh, financial issues. You just admitted that you've got financial issues. 
you're not selling, you're not willing to sell to a man who is coming to clear your debt, who is coming to invest in recruitment of players, almost 800 million pounds in player recruitment, a man who is coming in to invest in renovating the stadium, a man who is going to give the club a restart. He, he's going to clearly just bring in the money and clear the mess you've caused uh, for the years you've been there. And you say you can't, and you think the fans are just going to look on. So for me, I think uh, after today, you know, depending on what happens, whether they respond or not, it's good enough that the bid is going to remain, according to what has been said now by Sheikh Jassim, it's good enough. I'll tell you, the Glazers are going to see the power of Manchester United and they will understand why exactly it is the biggest football club in the world and and, and unapologetically so. They will understand what that means because now things are falling apart. Look at what's happening. The, the uncertainty. The coach, Eric Hag, wants to sign players. He's looking at a couple of players. Right now, Man United, the latest transfer news coming through is they are planning to make a bid for Mason Mount. Uh, about uh, 50 or 55 million pounds is what they're trying to table for Chelsea. Chelsea wants 80. Well, the man is not sure whether we even have the money. He's not sure. There is battles for all other players. Harry Kane, Real Madrid are there, you know, waiting around, hovering around like, 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 like vultures, waiting. And when Madrid want a player, they will just point at them and get them. They are still there. Eric Ten Hag has got his plan in order. He has a, you can see proper, ever since he joined, that Ten Hag had a clear plan on what he wants to do to rebuild the team. And one season, 12 months later, it has clearly shown the huge significant, pro uh, significant progress. United struggled after Sir Alex Ferguson. All the coaches that came in, none of them had a project you would see was progressing. Eric Ten Hag comes in 12 months. He shows you he is getting it right. Now, a crucial time comes like this. Season is done. Other teams, Liverpool is signing players. Arsenal are in advanced stages to sign players. Uh, Chelsea are signing players. Newcastle and Newcastle, they have got the money. They are talking of players as well. Tottenham Mospas is trying to put the house in order. I mean, Man United is still here fighting, you know, who is going to own the club, uncertainty of who is going to own the club. And you think because you are an American rich, uh, rich billionaire, you can just get away with it. The Glazers, I think, underestimate how big the club they own is. And I do believe after today, after today, they will understand what the power of football supporters is. Is they will truly understand. Probably they are not football people, and I don't blame them because I think, uh, you know, football or soccer, like the quality in the US, is not really that big of a game. It's only trying now to grow with, of course, the uh, advent of teams like the Inter Miami's and all, but it's not really their game. Maybe, you know, it's their old men, maybe during their times, football or soccer, like they call it in America, was nothing. They will understand that they do own the biggest football club that has got the biggest football fan base across the world. They have got to make a decision uh, because this is frustrating everyone from the guys trying to own the club. These guys are businessmen. They don't have all night, all day to be there, uh, you know, begging around like begging beggars on the street to own a club, to save a club from a situation you put it in. So for me, it's a terrible time. But that's what's happening. So... Uh, we are seeing, uh, we are still uh, monitoring the situation. I think I just wanted to give you that update of the good news that the bid will remain on, on, on table uh, from uh, Sheikh Jassim. Regardless, I probably think, probably they also expected to get no response. Uh, so the bid will remain there. Uh, but uh, the thing now is the funds are co collectively rallying, rallying behind uh, Sa uh, uh, Sheikh Jassim and his bid. So that's the situation at United. Uh, the transfers, Harry Maguire has said, uh, whereas Spurs and uh, their new coach, Ange uh, uh, Posteglu, are interested in him, he says he wants to stand fight for his place. Same with Scott McTominay. He also says he wants to stay. He doesn't care how many minutes he's playing. He does want to stay and try to compete for a, fa a first team place. Poor attitude. Poor, poor, terrible attitude. But anyhow, uh, that's the situation at Manchester United. In any case... Perhaps United doesn't want to lose some players right now because they don't know whether they'll have any money to spend in the window which is opening on the 14th of this month. So probably you might be stuck with Maguire, McTominay and all this bunch of nobodies that are at the club need to get out, clear space for better players to come in. But again, the ball is in the hands of the heartless, bloody owners, the Glazers. What's going to happen? Let's wait and see. This is the hot spot. Subscribe to the channel. I will be back with more updates. Of course, uh, before the deadline, I will be back probably live 
this time so that we discuss the way forward for Manchester United. My name is Webb. This is the hot spot. Thank you so much.